Right guys, so this is the um, Guardians of the Galaxy without the FSR3 mod. I am using the NVIDIA GeForce Experience Performance Overlay because whereas you can play the game regularly with MS Afterburner, uh, when you insert the FSR3 mod, you can't use MS Afterburner, the overlay crashes the game. So um, just to show my settings quickly. Okay, display, obviously, um, I don't have access to DLSS, I'm on full screen, exclusive full screen, and then I put AMD Fidelity Super Resolution to quality. And then in terms of my graphics, it's a custom preset, but it's basically medium, the texture quality on high, and then most of the filters are on, and anisotropic filtering at 16. Okay, so as you can see, in-game FPS is ranging from about 35 to 45 with these settings. Um, I do understand this is very early in the game, so uh, there are going to be sections that will be heavier. But um, yeah, it's, it's certainly playable. But let's just get to get past the scene for okay? Once you get to slightly more um, visually demanding sections, you'll notice that your FPS will drop quite low. I'm sitting here in 26, 26 FPS, 28 FPS. As you can see, it's not the best experience. I do understand if you drop the settings lower, um, you can get the FPS better. But um, let's see what the FSR3 mod can do. Right guys, to install frame gen is quite simple. I am using the Epic Store version of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, because it's quite an old game, I assume that it's using FSR 2.0. So I just copy these files from the latest version of the mod 0.7.5. And then my game files for this one, I'm running out of space, so I have to copy it to a different location. Uh, so you go to read you go inside marvel at gotg and then go to retail and then you just paste those files in over there and then guys what you want to do is you want to if you have msr afterburn and rivetina open just go ahead and close that because that actually causes the uh, uh, causes the game not to launch especially on the epic store version i don't know steam might be different um, I obviously use GeForce Experience to capture my gameplay in-game. So, uh, unlike Dead Space, uh, De uh, Dead Space uh, the GeForce Experience in-game overlay doesn't crash the game. So, that's great. So, at least I can um, capture my, my FPS, etc. So, once you've copied those files into Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, just go ahead and launch that. And obviously, the hooks are going to start activating and the script's going to start running and then just to show my, my settings uh, I did show you earlier but full screen exclusive full screen um, we are not going to be using AMD fidelity effects I'm going to switch it off we're going to be using NVIDIA DLSS because of um, the mod being injected and we're going to see some nice games so let's go ahead and play just remember guys, if you have MSI Afterburner or Rivetuna uh, open, this game won't launch. Um, trust me, it's been a good couple of minutes or hours, so to speak, after installing this game, trying to figure out how to get it to run. So anyways, what I'm going to do is the game's uh, launching now, so I'm just going to switch over to GeForce Experience, and then I'll show you my, what my gameplay is like with, G, uh, with the frame gen mod installed. Right guys, so I just switched over to GeForce Experience. Let's go ahead and see what the deal is with the FPS, with the FSR3 frame gen mod installed. So obviously I don't have access to MSR Afterburner, so what I'm going to be using is the, the uh, in-game overlay. And let's just go back to the scene that was earlier. But instantly you can see the FPS is a lot higher. Um, it's, we're getting about 30 extra FPS. There is slight little bit of ghosting. And if you move the character extremely fast, you can see a little bit of ghosting. But you have to move pretty fast for that to be the case. Um, the UI does glitch a little bit. 
Um, when uh, there is some uh, te text on screen, you'll notice that the, the UI does uh, glitch. But um, the overall experience is a shite load better because can you remember earlier when we got to this scene, we were sitting at um, 28 FPS. Yeah, we in the 50s going up to about 43. It's a lot smoother. And obviously this game is quite heavy, especially for my GTX 1650. But with the frame generation mod, this definitely does make this game a lot smoother, a lot more playable, and actually pretty decent experience. I'm not gonna lie. Don't really like the combat in this game. I'm not gonna lie. But we'll see, oh, there you can see the the UI glitching a little bit. But anyways, um, look, I've just, uh, I don't know all the, uh, the tips and tricks on how to get rid of it just yet. I just installed the game, but you can see with the frame generation mod, you're getting anywhere between 30 to 50% extra performance with a little bit of ghosting and some UI flickering, but it actually works quite well in this game. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a good morning. Have a good weekend. Cheers.